Hello, so this is just quite a quick video about how I use the Unreal Engine Reality Scan app in order to recreate the Ring of Eternity art piece uh, from Blackwood, which um, I wanted to create uh, because I wanted to first of all test out the Reality Scan app, which I've wanted to do for a while. So this video will kind of be like a review as well as a story about what I've done with it. So basically, this is the Ring of Eternity. Um, and it's, and it's got lots of uh, details. I'll see if I can find an image that shows it now. Um, I did see it earlier. It was like, here we go. So you can see it has lots of like intricate details. It shows um, some like mining cogs and uh, things that would have been used in coal mines. And then you can see inside the metal, there's like uh, some, some really small intricate patterns. So I think this would be a great way to celebrate local culture as well as the perfect test for this app because it has very small details. So I wanted to see how how well this app could do. So like the history of the statue is it's supposed to represent a coal mine and the land recovering from the mining industry. So um, what I did was, as you can see up on screen now, the app works by you walk around the object you want to scan and you take pictures and as you can see, as you start to walk around, you can actually see the pictures you've already taken, like surrounding the model in augmented reality. So I kind of went around the model and took some pictures in like a ring shape. And I kept doing that uh, for a while. I took about 170 pictures and then I loaded it into the reality scan app or I used the reality scan app in the first place to take the pictures, but the app loaded and it created this 3D model right here which I'm really proud of. I think it looks really well. The ground came out quite good and it even caught like the small details in the model. And it's not perfect. You can get it better, but it's really, I think it came out really well. Um, you can see all the small details in the model. So if you want to uh, see this model on Sketchfab, the link is in, in the description. So you can see it in 3D like this. Um, if you would like to download the model for yourself, it is on printables. Uh, I'll also have a link to that in the description. If you are downloading um, the model of printables, if you want to 3D print it, which I'm going to demonstrate in a second, or you're going to, um, I don't know, use it forever, CGI or anything, um, make sure you do like the model and follow me on printables because it supports me and uh, helps me make these videos. It's completely free, so it's just something you can do if you're going to be downloading it anyway. You can do that. Um, so that's the 3D scan there. Uh, I'll show you it on printables now. So this is the model on printables. If you happen to own an Ender 3 S1+, Plus, which is something I'll be doing a review on in a bit, uh, possibly in like a week, um, you can just download the G-code, all the settings are done for you. Or if you want to do anything custom or make it change the size or anything, you can download the SDL file here. Um, and the, the file does include the surface underneath, but I'm also, once this video goes up, adding a version which is just the pedestal for the model, like this. And it still keeps that rocky uh, shape, like on the real one, but it's just a lot less to print, like less unnecessary things. So this is this 3D printed software Cura. So I've got my model here. Um, you go, as you can see, I've got it ready to 3D print. So in a second, I will cut to this printing. It's going to take four hours, four hour print. Um, so we'll be done by 4 p.m. And as you can see, the printer just builds it layer by layer. And another thing that makes this model a great choice, I think, was the fact that these the metal bits here are structured, structured in a way where they arc upwards, which means I can print this without any kind of supports, which I think is great. Um, so yeah, if you really like... Uh, this model, you could try printing it. Uh, I challenge you uh, to, on I challenge all of you on printables to make this model, and then in the make section, I want to host a kind of competition, and I'll comment on the winner. I want to see who can make the best quality um, model on here. So whoever can print this in the best quality and comments it, so you can just upload and make. So for example. If you wanted to, if you if you made it on your 3D printer, you take a picture of it on printables, upload and make, choose the photo, and then in the list, choose the model and write some text. And then soon I will comment on the one I think was the best. So yeah, if you want to do that, 
you can make some makes of this. So it's just a quite quite a nice model to have. I wanted to make it. Wanted to demonstrate the app. Overall, I think the app worked well. I think with updates it can get better. Um, for example, adding an object rotation mode. So rather than you rotating the object, you can have a ro like an object on a stand and you can just turn it. So if you wanted to scan smaller objects, that'd be helpful. So I'd probably give reality scan like a four out of five because it was really helpful and being able to see the 3d mesh in real time as you scan it was also very helpful so yep yeah, i think that app was really well well made so good job uh unreal engine on that app so um the, another reason why i picked this model in particular is because i can't see it on the scan but if you look in real life it has like a gray ring around it yeah see that gray ring that goes around it you can see there that so as i was scanning i was following around this ring taking pictures and that kind of helped me as a guide of like where i should scan and then i moved inwards and took some more photo rings around inwards and i think that really helped me get a good scan as well so um yeah so try to find a model like this you want to do it in good weather as well try not to do anything too shiny because it struggles with that so yeah if you want to take a picture of something or um sorry uh, make a 3d model of something you can you just download the reality scan app on the app store i believe it's on android as well so if you uh if you want to do this yourself as easy as downloading the app and just start taking pictures and it will automatically upload to sketchfab so yep you can do that yourself so i'm gonna carry on with this now uh so let's get to the printing So we got a uh, picture of the final printed model here, which I think came out really well. Um, so just here is a few pictures from a few different angles. So you can see they all came out really well. Um, I think I could improve retraction settings at a later date to try and reduce stringing. I'm sure that you guys could possibly get a better print than mine. But I still think it's done really well. It's printed all of this without support. Um, I need to tweak the retraction settings though to get some less stringing. But uh, I think it came out really well. So again, I challenge you to um, to uh, beat this, beat this model, do a, do a better one. Remember, no supports. And um, if you want to do that, remember to like and follow it. Fo like the model and follow me on Printables and upload your make. All right, see you.